school shooting. Shooting in a school. Another school shooting. Ever wonder why gun control isn't getting fixed? You're about to find out. A USA Today report has revealed that the FBI issued orders to seize more than 4,000 guns last year from people who failed background checks. Thousands of people were able to purchase guns despite having criminal records, mental health issues, or other disqualifications. So how did this happen? It's all thanks to a major loophole within one of our country's strongest gun control measures. Anyone looking to buy a gun needs to pass a criminal background check, but here's the catch. If dealers don't hear back from the FBI within three days of requesting the check, under federal law, they're allowed to go ahead and sell the gun anyway. If it turns out later that the person hasn't passed the background check, then the FBI issues an order to the ATF to take back the guns. That's right, take back the guns they already gave to the potentially crazy criminals with a history of violence. Can you imagine getting your driver's license before you've actually passed the test? Right, 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 right. And this can all take a while since there's no electronic database of gun owners. This three-day loophole is also part of federal law. It's the same loophole that allowed white supremacist Dylan Roof to buy a gun and murder nine churchgoers in Charleston, South Carolina in 2015. The FBI later revealed that it had failed to detect Roof's arrest for drug possession, a charge that would have disqualified him from buying the gun in the first place. Of course, not all gun owners are criminals, but it's clear how easy it is for guns to fall into the wrong hands. Do you think the FBI and ATF are doing a good job of cleaning up these messes? For Uproxx, I'm Steve Vasquez.